sweeties, it's Jess here, and it is Tuesday, and I'm filling in for Lauren. Uh, Lauren is stuck at work today, so she'll probably be making a video tomorrow. So in the meantime, y'all are stuck with me, and I am obviously a little bit sick, um, a little stuffy, so I apologize if this is semi-low energy, but I am fighting a cold. Here we go. Our two topics this week are bullying and LGBT me media pop culture. LGBT people in pop culture and what we think about that um, and how they're portrayed. Given that I've already established that I know little to nothing about pop culture, I know even less about LGBT pop culture. So I'm going to skip over that topic and stick with bullying. And I just want to say that in my life and in my experience, I have found it much more worthwhile to try to help the victims of bullying rather than trying to deal with the bullies themselves and rather than trying to eradicate bullying on a large scale. Um, in high school, I was part of a program called, I was part of the actually, president of a, of a program called the Safe School Ambassadors, and our goal was to um, help the victims of bullying and teach administrators and students how to spot bullying and what they can do about it and how they can support their friends who are going through something like that or um, you know support themselves going through that. And I found it to be pretty um, meaningful for me to be working with the, pe the people who are being bullied rather than trying to deal with the assholes who bully people. I just feel like there are hateful and spiteful and arrogant and like bigoted assholes in the world and that it is much more productive to spend time dealing with the victims and trying to help them through what they're going through than trying to um, deal with, you know, try and fix a douchebag. I just feel like it's much more productive the other way around. And that's not to say that there is no place to try and stop bullying from, you know, on a large scale or from the outside in that kind of sense. But um, I just, in my experience, for it's per more personally fulfilling for me to um, try and raise people up than try and fight assholes who are assholes and are going to be assholes because they're assholes. You know, and like Haley said, I don't know what the answers are. I don't know if it's the government. I don't know if it's individual websites in terms of cyberbullying. I don't know if it is um, teachers or parents or friends or counselors or administrators in schools. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. You know, it could be all of the above. It could be none of the above. And it could be some combination of, of them. I think it's easy for me, for me in particular, to get frustrated by the sheer totality of bullying and not knowing where to even start. Like, how do you tackle such a big problem such as bullying? And it's just so easy to feel helpless and powerless. Like, you can't do anything and, like, nothing you do is going to make a difference because it's not going to make a huge splash and there's just so much happening that you don't even know where to start. But, you know, like our... Uh like our seventh grade speeches that we had to write, uh, I think that one person really can uh, make a difference. I really do believe that. So yeah, maybe you can't save all the victims of bullying, but you can save one, and I think that's a lot. I generally find that personal responsibility is a huge factor in a lot of issues, and I think bullying is one of them. So, you know, if you see your friend bullying someone else, stop them. If you see someone being bullied, stand up for them. If you are being bullied, reach out for help. Be part of an organization that tries to stop bullying in your school. Um, do something proactive that's going to make you feel like you're making a difference and take some personal responsibility for, you know, the bullying that you're putting others through and the bullying that you're undergoing yourself and recognize when other people are going through it as well and that they need support from you. And then there's there's Dan Savage's project, It Gets Better, and I have uh, conflicting feelings on it. Um, on the one hand, I think that uh, you know, I think it's I think it's a inspiring project in the sense that every a whole community came together, and particularly with LGBT issues. But you know, a whole community came together to show people that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, and that they can get through this, and it will get better. Um, and it really just rallied a lot of support for people who feel like they don't have any, and I think that that is very useful. You know, I think and I think that Dan Savage saw a problem and tried to address it in the best way that he could, and he made an effort. And so in that in that way, I think that's admirable. On the other hand, I find the project to be pretty much functionally and practically useless. When you're starting high school and you're being bullied and teased and mocked and beat up, um, I, it's not much help for me to say, you know, these four years will be hell, but it gets better. Um, you know, that's not helpful when you're being shoved into a locker. So on the one hand, I think it's nice and to recognize that there are people outside of your community that you're in that are good people and that you're, you're not going to be forever surrounded by assholes. On the other hand, I get how it's really frustrating to be in high school and going through all these things and to have someone say, well, it gets better. You know, it will, I promise. No matter how heartfelt um, and well-intentioned that is, it's not actually that helpful uh, in the day-to-day. -day. So so the advice I have for someone who is, um, who is being bullied, I would say, 
reach out to help in any way you can in a safe way, whether that's talking to friends, counselors, teachers, uh, call a bullying uh, crisis line. Just reach out for help in a way that you can. Fight back in a, in a safe way. You know, if it's going to put you in further danger to fight back, whether it's physically or reaching out for help in those ways, um, do it in a way that you can be safe while doing it. And for someone who sees someone else being bullied, like a friend or even a stranger, take some personal responsibility and stand up for them. Do what's right. That's about it. I mean, what else can you do? There are, I just, I want people to know that there are people like me and people like the rest of the ladies of Lesbian Central and the viewers who are watching that are um, supportive of people of all sexualities and, you know, anything that you're going through what, that you're being bullied for, you know, not just LGBT issues, but in general. There are people out there who are not like people in your community and who will support you. And I mean, it does get better, so hang in there. But that's all I can really say. Sorry if I'm not being very helpful. <laughs> So that's it for me this week, guys. I will be seeing you soon, next week maybe. I don't know, but bye.